Jared Spataro, and I'm here at the SharePoint conference in Las Vegas. I'm really excited to talk about what's happening here and why we think of this time for SharePoint as really a pivotal moment, a pivotal release. In the keynote, I gave a little bit of background about just the history of SharePoint and where it's going, what it's been. And it was really fun to kind of take a walk down memory lane and think about how far we've come. SharePoint really started as kind of just a very small idea uh, focused around document sharing, really helping people to share documents. And now after uh, a little over more than a decade, we're at a point where we're a, a big business with an incredible ecosystem and wonderful community. And we are just so humbled, as I said in the keynote, to see all of this around us. At the same time, you know, when you, when you start to grow and you um, get to a point where you start to see some success, one of the, the main questions is where do you go from here? You know, what happens after this? And I know over the last couple of years, people have asked, SharePoint's been great, but it sure seems like the, the world's moving fast. Where are you going to go? And so as part of the keynote, we also focused on this idea that there are some major trends, obviously, that are disrupting the world. Uh, we pointed out cloud, mobile, and social, and talked about not just those trends in and of themselves, but also focused on what they're doing to businesses, how they're making it um, important for businesses to be more agile, to be ready to react. So as we have thought about the future of SharePoint, uh, we have been kind of keeping it under wraps for a while, but we're excited because we feel like this new future not only bets really hard on those trends, but starts a transformation for us that's going to help businesses to be more agile, to really compete well in their industries. So let me tell you about how we talked about it at the keynote. The first set of things that we did with this release of SharePoint 2013 that we are proud as can be, we kind of feel like little papas up there, you know? <clears throat> the baby's been born and we get to show it off is first, uh, we feel great about the user experience. And we recognize that user experiences over the last decade obviously have changed a lot. And today with consumerization, we see people more and more kind of bringing their expectations of what it feels like to use a piece of software from their homes into their offices. And that's a, you know, it's quite a, a change. And what's happened is a lot of um, business software just hasn't kept up. And so with this release, we have focused a lot on what it feels like to use SharePoint. When we first started, uh, we literally handed out hearts to all of the developers um, and talked about, look, people have got to love this product. They've got to feel great using it. And I think when you get a chance to use it, you'll see what has happened. We've done some small things like change the layout and the use of white space. We feel like we've cleaned up the interface so that it feels much more modern, so that it kind of maps to what you'd see from more of a consumer service. But we've also done some things that are very focused on what SharePoint is. We've made it easy to share with a single click. And um, I won't count how many it took before, but it took more than one, it turns out. We've done some things to make it really easy to add people to sites, to start up sites, to theme your sites. Uh, we've made it really easy in lists, which we think are, are very powerful, but to click on the list and do what we call inline editing. So you just edit right there. We made it easy to, to um, use the, the great features of SharePoint without having to stuff all of them in your face, but make it so that you simply can kind of very intuitively figure out what's going on. So I'm really excited about that. We've also done some other things to make sure the user experience is better than ever before. We, one of the big investments that we made, obviously, was social. And not only did we invest in the social capabilities of SharePoint 2013, but we also went and spent a little bit of money to buy a company in San Francisco, Yammer. And we spent some time during that keynote talking about Yammer and having the Yammer folks come on stage. We are so proud of Yammer because they represent, for us, kind of a new paradigm. Um, in that keynote, we talked a little bit about SharePoint being kind of more of a site or a document-centric model and of Yammer being kind of a people-centric paradigm. And we get excited about the fusion of those two. We don't think that one has to outdo the other, but we think the combination is, is really, really powerful. So we showed some of the newsfeed capabilities. We also talked a bit about Yammer integration and the roadmap and where that's headed. And you know, I'd encourage you to go look at the keynote itself to find out more. I don't think I'd do it justice here, but we did some great demos, which are fun to see, so you can get a sense for where we're going with all of that. Uh, finally, in terms of user experience, we talked about mobile. And a lot of people have had questions about you know, our intentions when it comes to mobile, particularly when it comes to kind of the heterogeneous um, environment that people work in. They want to know, are you just going to support Windows um, devices? And particularly with the new Windows devices, how do you think about the others? And um, we like all of them, it turns out. We love our Windows devices, and we particularly like the new Surface, so we give a plug anytime we can. But we're uh, doing work on um, Windows and Win8 in particular, Windows 
Windows Phone, all flavors of Windows Phone, as well as, as we announced at the conference, iPhone and iPad. And I think that's big news for a lot of people who want to understand if we're going to be cross-platform. So those mobile apps that we'll produce will be native uh, mobile apps. They'll provide access to your social capabilities as well as documents, which is kind of the, the starting point for most use cases for customers. So that's a quick summary of experiences. We're really excited about SharePoint 2013 and just the way it looks. We think it's a cute baby and, and we're excited to share it with the world. Next, we talked about uh, what we termed innovation. This is essentially, essentially a bunch of investments that we've made in the core capabilities of the product. Uh, the fun part of this is that I think that I could talk here for like three hours on the stuff that we've done here because there's so much that we've done. We have a very large team that works on SharePoint and this is the last of our three-year releases, but we did have a number of years to work on it and a lot of stuff came from that work. So a couple of highlights uh, that I wanted just to hit briefly. I really love what we've done with Search, um, having been involved in the fast acquisition, the work that happened there, and um, just loving the fast team and the way they think about innovation. We've taken the, the old SharePoint search engine and, in fact, the next generation of, of the fast search engine and put them together into a single search engine, which has been really a, a great innovation for us. We've taken that search capability and not only made the user experience out of the box great, but we simplified a lot of the management. So now you have essentially the power of what fast was prior to the acquisition with the simplicity of what SharePoint brings to IT Pro, so we really like that. We've also taken Search and we've used it all across the product. So it's not just standalone Search, but it powers a lot of the other things that are happening. A great example of that is web content management, or essentially web publishing. Now we've created a way not only for you to publish static content onto a website, but you can also use um, search and search queries essentially to drive a template where you take the content from the background and using a search query automatically are able to feed the content up so you have a very fresh web page. To make your web page fresh, whether it's internet or an internet site, you just have to curate the, top, the actual content in the background and then the search does the work for you. So we're excited about that. And then of course we've used search across a number of other places. One of those is eDiscovery. And so we now have some great eDiscovery capabilities that allow you to use search and hold and then ultimately an export so that your lawyers can get to work if you have some things for them to do. Um, and that goes across Exchange, SharePoint, uh, Link, and File Share. So a great start for us in eDiscovery. If you look at some of the other places, there's um, depth in uh, a, a lot of other places, so we, it would take a long time to get through them, but one that really stood out for us that we highlighted was what we would kind of uh, call IT Pro capabilities. So this included um, some new architectural things that we've done when it comes to making this work in the cloud, and we love the investments that we've made there. We've done everything from changing some of the back-end architecture to looking at pages and how pages actually load and what the payload looks like as you're taking it from kind of the initial request to subsequent requests, so there's a lot to look at there. We also talked about efficiency and particularly file I.O. So it's kind of fun to see this demo on stage because it's not something you normally get very excited about. Uh, but we've dramatically reduced the storage requirements for SharePoint because essentially what we've done is implement something that we call shredded storage. Not as bad as it sounds. It takes your files and it actually shreds them up into small pieces. And then it only saves back, instead of a full copy of a file, the small piece, the small shred that was changed. And so these differential pieces of the files actually really significantly reduce the load as you're kind of doing content versioning. So a lot of investments there when it comes to our core capabilities. We, we could go on when it comes to BI and other capabilities, and I'll leave you to not only look at the keynote, but also look at some of the things that we publish after the conference. Finally, the last thing that uh, really tops all of this off for us is a change to our app model. We call it now the cloud app model. So although we continue to support um, the, the current uh, fully trusted code approach, we absolutely have pivoted our view, our kind of energy and effort onto this new cloud app model that's all about taking advantage of loosely coupled applications. So it allows you to use things like JavaScript and HTML5 for the front end of your apps. It actually requires that those apps don't run on the same service or the same box as SharePoint, but that they run in a different place. And this gives you a lot of flexibility now. Uh, we, we demoed during the keynote some of that work where you can actually run in Azure very easily using some of the Visual Studio tooling to uh, publish and use those apps within SharePoint and then um, to continue to iterate on those really fast. And so we really like what we've done there. We think this will, not only will this continue to be a, a place that we invest, but it also I think will be a source of great innovation from the community as people produce new apps. 
Finally, as the last part of that app model, we talked a bit about the SharePoint store. Everybody who builds apps needs stores, and so we're excited to have a SharePoint store. It's part of a larger office store concept. That this allows developers to not only create their apps, but also to to help people to understand what their apps do and then ultimately to buy their apps. The SharePoint store itself is very flexible, so you can put things up there and then there are many different ways for you to actually transact with customers. And we didn't get into a great deal of detail there, but there are more details available out on the web. So we are really proud of SharePoint 2013. If you can't tell, I could uh, talk about it for a very long time and we feel great about it. I'd encourage you to take a look at it, to go sign up for what is currently the preview of the Office 365 service where you'll get the latest and greatest that we have to offer and you can get a very quick sense for what's there, both the experience, the new uh, underlying capabilities, those innovations, as well as the, the new app model and the stuff that we're doing for the ecosystem.